Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with engineering mechanics. So in the topic of resultant force, so the problem is the following forces acting on a point. So the first one is 20 kg inclined at 20 degree towards the north of east, then 25 kg towards the north, then 30 kg inclined 40 degrees towards the north of west, then Fourth one, 35 kg inclined 40 degrees towards the south of west. Calling it the resultant force. So first we have to draw the diagram. So that is a uh, force diagram. So now this one is north and this one is south. Here east and west. So the first uh, force that 20 degree inclined, that is 20 kg is 20 degree inclined towards the north. Okay, towards the north of east. So towards the north of east, 20 degree towards the north, that is 200 Newton. Okay, so 20 kg we can convert into Newton. So that is 200 Newton. So second force is uh, 25 kg towards the north. Okay, so there is a, a vertical force. So 20 kg, sorry, 25 kg. So that is 250 Newton. Okay, so then third force, 30 kg inclined at 40 degrees towards the north of west okay so towards the north of west so there is a inclined force that is 300 newton the angle will be 40 degree okay so likewise so 35 kg inclined 40 degree towards the south of west okay so towards the south of west we having the again 40 degree the load intensity sorry force intensity is 350 newton okay so there is a four forces so we have to find out the resultant force okay so now we can take the resultant force formula so resultant force f equal to the formula is f x square plus f y square plus 2 into fx fy and cos 90 degree okay so now the fx and fy so that is the horizontal forces and vertical forces now we can take the fx that is horizontal forces so first horizontal force 200 into cos 20 degree plus here 250 is a pure vertical force so 250 300 sorry 350 into cos 220 degree so solving this we got the value of minus 324.7 newton next thing is vertical force fy so that is 200 into sine 30 degree okay plus i sine 20 degree plus again 250 into sine 90 degree plus 300 into sine 140 degree so this force then plus 350 into sine 220 degree okay solving this we got the value of 317.9 newton okay so from that we can substitute all the values over here we got the resultant force so now the resultant force f equal to so now we can substitute the fx square so that is fx minus 324.7 square okay so then plus 317.9 square plus 2 into fx fy so minus 324.7 into so fy value is uh, 317.9 into cos 90 so cos 90 is uh, value will be 0 so this term will be 0 so now the resultant force f equal to 454.4 newton okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you